just over a year since King Leopold of the Belgians emerged from his mourning for his beloved Queen Astrid and threw his full energy into affairs of state. Since then he has earned the admiration of the world as a leader at home, an ambassador of peace and goodwill to other nations. In that spirit we welcome him to our shores with the dipping salute of RAF planes, with the cry of gulls and the boom of guns from the castle. First to greet the King is His Royal Highness the Duke of Gloucester, wearing the uniform of a Colonel of Hussars and bringing the official welcome of King George. First, the Duke introduces the members of the British suite who will attend King Leopold while he is in England, and then the Duke greets the Belgian ministers who have come with their King and include Monsieur Spark, the Foreign Minister. And Belgium's King steps onto British soil with a guard of honour of the three services. On the station platform, beneath the flags of the nations, King Leopold is greeted by Dover's Mayor and then he boards the royal train for London and the warm welcome of waiting thousands. Meanwhile at Victoria, King George waits to greet his guest as the royal train thunders in. And now comes the dramatic moment when two kings stand face to face with a smile of greeting and the warm handshake to symbolize the friendship between their two peoples. Among the first to be presented to King Leopold are the Duke of Kent, the Earl of Athlone, and the Earl of Harwood. Then they move to the waiting royal carriage and Britain stands to attention in Belgium's honour. The royal carriage is drawn by six Windsor Greys with postillions in full state livery. And at last, with the King's escort of lifeguards, begins the triumphal drive through cheering streets to Buckingham Palace. There, King Leopold will be received by Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth and then begins a busy round of state ceremonies in honour of the young sovereign who has set Europe a striking example of courage and leadership by a popular and democratic king. And next morning the crowds...